Chapter 3, the creation of the angel of God's presence. It's chapter 3 of God's book entitled <clears throat> Isaiah 53 and the Day of the Lord. That he dictated to me as he dictated the Torah to Moses. And he dictated the entirety of the Hebrew Bible primarily with the prophets. Each prophet wrote his own book. And they were all men and divine beings, just like Moshiach is. Because that's how God talks to a man. And they were writing God's words, so pretty easy to figure out. And I bet the rabbis today have no idea, <laughs> particularly because a man and divine beings appears in the Hebrew Bible one time. It's the man that Jacob wrestled with and God spoke during that wrestling match, or at the end of it, and uh, changed his name from Jacob to Israel. That's a man of divine beings in Judaism says Jacob wrestled with an angel. No, wrestled with a man of divine beings. Now, he didn't actually wrestle with those divine beings he came. I mean, you can't touch him, you can't see him or anything else, but... Effectively, by wrestling the man, he was wrestling with them because they had that man in control and they were within him. Um, you know, God just went and got a man and said, look, I'm the God of this land and I have something for you to do. And the man would have said, because God would have made sure of it, okay, let's go. And he'd say, see that fellow sleeping over there? <laughs> That'd be Jacob. Go jump on him and start wrestling. I'll take care of you. My power envelops you, and I'll be with you. Okay. The creation of the angel of God's presence. God created all things, including spirit. He's not a spirit. I know a lot of people say that he's not a spirit. He's in his spirit, but he's not spirit. Now, I'm not quite sure what he is, to be honest with you. I don't Including spirits and souls the together form persons. A soul is like the DNA of who you are. You know, you a grumpy old man, a good person, nice person, mean person, evil person, blended with spirit. That's what soul and so soul and spirit together form a person. The first person he created was the person of his spirit, who is the angel of his presence, the Holy Spirit. He created an angel and for his body, for his body, he didn't use human form and wings. His body is the spirit of God. That's why they're always together because God's in his spirit. Just like I'm in my spirit, contained within this body, and so is everybody else. I got a lot more on, on this. Some of this knowledge, but the fact that you don't have a mind in heaven, how is that taken care of? How do you think? Uh, you no, know, your spirit doesn't have memory banks. <laughs> it still be you, though. I mean, it's, it's still a person that just can't think without God's assistance. He becomes the information of your mind as he is the information of my mind today. I actually already experienced what you'll feel in heaven, Jewish people who are in the scroll of remembrance. The Holy Spirit. Uh... This is from Isaiah 63, verses 9 and 10. Did I never hear the rabbis, and it's not like I've researched it that much, so I could be wrong. I never hear them talk about this. I do know they do not think the Spirit of God is a person, which is absurd, because he speaks to Ezekiel on his own. He tells Ezekiel, speak. He's kind of telling you, I can talk, speak. And he takes Ezekiel on a vision, and God, this is one of those where you can see how they're separated. God, Ezekiel, and his spirit, angel of his presence, are in Jerusalem. 
God ascends and then descends on a hill east of Jerusalem. Then it says the Spirit of God went to Ezekiel and said, Ezekiel, speak. And then the Spirit of God took him on a vision. Okay, clearly a person and here, and he's the angel that went in front of the Israelites. You don't want to get him angry. He won't forgive you. He's got all kinds of personality traits. And he's here right now. In all of their troubles, he was troubled. And the angel of his presence delivered them. That he is capital H as in God. Now listen how closely these two get intertwined. Sent in all of their troubles, God was troubled. And the angel of his presence delivered them. Well, the angel doesn't have power. He could be, he, he could have delivered them, but it would have been in God's power. I'm not even, is that just going before him? Deliver them to the promised land? It has to do with their troubles. Deliver them from their troubles. Okay. And his, again, God, in God's love and pity, God himself redeemed them, raised them, and exalted them all the days of old. Verse 10, but they rebelled and grieved his Holy Spirit. That's the angel. I know God doesn't put it right together. He doesn't explain it like I just did, but that's how it was taught to me. Then he became their enemy and himself made war against them. That's God. They grieved his Holy Spirit. So this person can get angry, can be unforgiving, can be grieved, this angel. I think everybody would agree an angel's a person. Okay. Well, that's just his body, the Spirit of God. Hey, he's talking to him. Oh, he, like, he wants to make sure I, I let this out, I think, on the last video. It's just so long, but it is good. Makaya, the prophet, tells of a vision he had where God who has no former image, was seated on his throne in Kings chapter 22, verses 19 through 23. Taking this image of God on a throne, imagine in his hand he holds a soul, a pure soul that looks like a ball of white energy. God takes this soul and creates with his mind, and then wills it to have the characteristic and traits of the person the soul will be when blended with God's spirit. All persons are souls blended with spirit. The first person was the person of the spirit of God who is the angel of his presence and the Holy Spirit. God takes this special soul and places it before his face and speaks the words, I am. But God does not use his voice. He becomes the person he is creating. He uses the childlike voice of an angelic person. He speaks to the angel as God and answers for the angel as the angel. God simulates being this new person for ages and ages until he is perfect as God would have him be. Then God releases that special soul and spirit from before his face with the breath of life. And the presence of the spirit of God was created. The person. An angel whose body is the spirit of the holy God. The holy spirit. Which he prefers. He doesn't prefer angel at all. Yeah, he's right here. They're both right here. God's having me do this at four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Crying out loud. Because it takes so long to upload them. And again, we're trying to get a whole nother generation of this book out there, chapter, 50 chapters. Because I'm already wearing out the, the latest one we just did a couple of weeks ago by reposting. But it is working. I mean, I've had over 160,000 views. Um, now, that's all 50 videos together, but. And there's other interesting developments on that. 
God is always in him. God was him. God can always place the person of the spirit before his face and be him and speak as him and through him, just like he can me. And this is how God, my name, is in the angel that was sent to guard the Israelites on the way to the promised land and in the angel of the Lord in the burning bush that God spoke through to Moses. They are the same angel, the angel of God's presence. If God is speaking or using his power and there's an angel in the story, it's the angel of his presence. Why use another one? Okay, that's chapter three. No, I didn't want to combine chapter four. 